Hi, this is Zach at Reform Prosthetics. I wanted to share with you an interesting case. Um, we had a patient, unfortunately, take a fall, which injured his uh, hip on the amputated side. He is an above knee amputee patient, great prosthetic user, and had an unfortunate tumble uh, that led to some recuperation and some surgery. Uh, with that surgery, his leg swelled up as you might imagine, about 10 centimeters all the way around. So we went through this process of shrinking him down in multiple test sockets, and we finally got to a place where he was able to maintain suction suspension with uh, directly against the skin all day long. Um, in order to improve that, when we went to lamination, um, we decided to use a BOA reel or a Click Medical reel um, to aid in his suspension with the assumption that he would lose some. So what we have here, this is the anterior part of the socket. This little panel here, when he tightens up the socket, it'll compress into the scarpus triangle. And it'll make this area inside here uh, compress and tighten up. That'll push him back into the issue of tuberosity, which is good biomechanically. But the other element of this socket is, we've opened up the back here. And when he's tightening this up, the way we have this oriented is this pad will tighten first, and then secondly, this uh, AP compression can occur. So there's AP compression because of the padding on the panel, but also this, this prosthesis can, can uh, tighten up on the skeletal ML. There won't be a lot of tightening allowance on the skeletal ML because we established that in the test socket, but it's gonna hopefully afford the patient the opportunity to maintain good suction suspension throughout this rehabilitation process. Thank you.